Hey fellas, just a quick note before we start on this week's video. Uh, I have redesigned my website, meattrapper.com. I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, check it out and take a look at it. Let me know what you think. It's got news about uh, my resistance trapping project coming out this fall. And it's got a lot more information on it and uh, hopefully it's a better interactive experience uh, whether you're on a cell phone, uh, an iPod, or at home on your computer. So anyway, check out meattrapper.com and until then, let's get started on our video. Hey fellas, Meat Trapper here and today do I have a treat for you. Several months ago, I was contacted by a trapper out of Florida by the name of Mr. Stephen Dennis. Mr. Dennis had developed a snare bucket trap that he makes, and this thing was really ingenious. His trap consists of a bucket that gets baited to draw the animal into it, and then it's rigged with the snare around the outside mouth of the bucket, and the snare is powered by a spring pole device. And when the animal sticks its head in to take the bait, the trap is triggered and the snare is forcefully drawn shut around the animal's neck. Now when I first saw this trap, I thought, you know, this is really ingenious. Uh, this took some imagination to come up with the way this thing is designed. But I also have to be honest and say, you know, I thought this was a little bit of gimmicky, uh, to put it. And the reason that I thought that was, why should I go to all the trouble to make a bucket and rig a snare up in a bucket when I can just hang a snare from a tree and let the animal walk into it? Well, the more I thought about this and the more I studied the design and the implementation, the more I realized just how huge of an asset this type of trap can be. And let me explain what I'm talking about. Um, snaring, if, any, if you've ever done it, you know, is a blind set where no bait, no lure, no attractant is used. Uh, the trapper goes out and finds a game trail, hangs a snare in it, and the animal comes along and he's caught. Well, this presupposes a couple of things. Number one, that you have game trails. Now, if you look at any of the palmetto swamps that we have down here, or just any open, trackless forest areas, you can see that game trails may be hard to find. They may be indistinct, and the animals may have um, several trails that they can take to get from point A to point B. In areas like this, a snareman has to literally put out dozens of snares to cover all the trails. Now, the other problem that you can have with blind setting snares is that they're pretty much species specific. And that is, if you're gonna snare coon, you're gonna use a certain size loop set at a certain height off the ground. If you're going after fox or bobcat, you're gonna use a different size loop set slightly higher off the ground. If you're going for coyote or wild hog, that's a complete different story in and of itself right there. The beauty of the snare bucket is that it doesn't matter what animal you're going after, the animal is gonna be drawn to you and he's gonna stick his head in the bucket, and when he does, he's caught. It doesn't matter if it's a possum, doesn't matter if it's a coon, and it doesn't matter if it's a wild hog. Uh, it's the same bucket, the same trap, uh, the same bait, and the same snare with the same result. The animal's caught around the neck. Now, anybody that's fooled with powered snares, such as the ram snares out of Canada, uh, the Fremont snare thrower, or the Bilal foot snare, you know these things are expensive. Uh, they can run $20, $30, $40 dollars a piece, depending upon which model and which size. Another problem with uh, these specialty powered snares is you're either going to have to buy their replacement snares or you're going to have to learn how to make special snares designed to fit those devices. Um, the SD bucket trap has none of those drawbacks. Number one, it's dirt cheap. Um, if you went to Home Depot and you bought everything brand new that you needed to make one of these bucket traps, uh, it might cost you 10 bucks, and that's including the price of the bucket. Um, if you're like most people and you have buckets laying around and you got a good supply of hardware like nuts and bolts and stuff like that, pieces of wire, uh, you can literally build this for just a few dollars or even nothing at all, depending upon what you have on hand. Um, the other thing is the type of snare. Uh, you build your own or use store-bought snares, and there's nothing special about it. You can use any diameter cable you want, depending upon what you're going after. Um, you can use any type of snare lock that you want, 
and you don't have to load your snares you don't have to get fancy expensive special nothing like that and to me that's the real genius of this trap is that unlike uh, a traditional blind set this is a baited set trap you're going to bring the animals to you instead of you having to go to the animals uh, you're going to use common everyday materials and you can make as many of these as you want and they're dirt cheap to make and use and they work now speaking of working the proof is in the pudding, so let's take a look at some footage. Well, at five o'clock in the a.m. Set up the stand and climb on in. Jack Frost biting at my toes. Doused up and sent away. Forget about the bills I haven't paid. Tree swaying, leaves crunching all around. Oh, and don't you know I love to hear that sound? When a white tail hits the ground, turkey goblin off a roosted lamb, it's them mallard ducks when they all cut me. Well, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? Um, if you're interested in learning how to build these traps yourself, uh, I have a full-length instructional video that I'm offering for sale. Uh, the price of the video is $19.95, which is half the cost of a store-bought snare thrower. Now, for all of you guys that have been loyal viewers and supporters of my channel, I'm doing an early bird special for one week from the date this video goes up. I'm offering the video for $9.95. Uh, that's less than the cost of a steak if you go out to a steakhouse and you're going to learn exactly how to build these things and how to set them. More importantly, you're going to see how the triggering mechanism works and on the video I show different options for building the trigger depending upon what materials you have available or you want to use. Um, and once you understand the principle behind the trap and, and the triggering system, you're going to see just how simple this is to do and just how infinitely variable it is. So anyway, if you're interested in this, uh, please support me and my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. And Mr. Dennis, thank you very much. I'm in your debt. Y'all have a good day.